Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag, TR Tony here. Hope you're having a really great week wherever you are. Um, just a quick check-in. This may, again, sound really, really basic, but um, we've been through a bit of a learning curve in recent weeks with one of the Triumph Stags we've had, and that relates to the bonnet, or the hood, I believe, as they would call it in the US, uh, the bit at the front that goes over the engine anyway, and um, in terms of alignment, because on one of them we had a, a few kind of issues with the uh, bonnet or hood lid graunching as you lifted it up on various kind of uh, panels around the car. And obviously this wasn't very desirable or good looking. And um, we've gone to some expense and got it repaired now. Alan the welder is also a very good painter. So uh, we threw the car at him a couple of weeks ago and he's actually now uh, fettled the, uh, the bonnet such that it fits nicely snugly in the right kind of orifice but the tolerances are very tight I think probably through a previous uh, repair that may have been done a few years ago there's there's quite t fine tolerances but he's done it and made a really good uh, job of it and that's really great all looking dandy uh, but what he shared with us was uh, the best practice for opening and shutting your Triumph Stag bonnet or hood. Now for those that have been around for many years I'm sure you'll think what is this guy on about but actually if you don't know you don't know and as Alan was saying just the other day uh, so many of us just uh, let the bonnet slam shut um, as we walk away into the sunset and actually that's exactly when you can actually damage the boot, uh, beg pardon, the bonnet if you're not very careful. So I just want to share with you a few simple tips on what to do, how to do it and what to watch for and uh, in that way hopefully you'll preserve the good looking bonnet or hood as I should say on your Triumph Stag. So let's have a look. So this particular car we bought a few months ago and uh, have been slowly going through it. Um, as you can see the bonnet there looks a really good fit now and that's quite um, deliberate because Alan the welder, who's also a very good painter, has managed to realign the bonnet and also to respray and uh, make good all the peripheral damage that was around the outside. Often these bonnets swing up and swing down and they chip away at the rest of the bodywork around it. So um, in terms of how you actually go about opening the bonnet, I'm sure you're all pretty familiar with that, but the uh, pull switch is located under the, uh, the, uh, the glove compartment on the passenger side. In this case the uh, knob appears to be upside down but a quick pull, that uh, sharp pull, releases the spring and as you can see here I'm beginning to lift the bonnet. Now when you do it ideally you should hold it uh, in the middle and gingerly pull it up. Don't just grab it on one side uh, because what will happen is the other side will graunch on the other part of the bonnet because they are quite flexible and I'll show you this in just a minute but inside the bonnet you can see uh, there's some really useful rubber stops that also get the positioning and the height dead right. Uh, you have some adjusters at the front of the car, those three bolts on each of those hinges which will do forward, sideways and back and of course then you can see that as I said earlier some flex uh, in the bonnet there. The Triumph made them very well for lightness obviously but they are quite flexible to say the least and uh, of course that can cause problems um, if you're not very careful when it hits the side of the bonnet or the wings or the shut pads. So to r take the bonnet down simply lift the uh, adjuster so and let it run along the track. Now at this point do not let it drop as most of us would do simply put it gently gently down and then I call it a bit of a CPR um, heart uh, pump uh, push on the middle and you'll find it's uh, worked really well. I'll just show you that again up close so literally hand over the spring bit and a gentle uh, shove and you'll find that it nicely shuts. That way there's no graunches, there's no flex in the bonnet and it won't catch any of the sides such that would graunch the paper paintwork if you weren't very careful. As I say, Alan has done a fantastic job in realigning and repainting this one, and I think you'll agree it looks absolutely resplendent. Okay guys, hopefully that was uh, useful for those that uh, now are in the know. Uh, it's one of those things that if you don't know, you don't know, but uh, hopefully we'll all now be uh, closing our bonnets or hoods more gingerly uh, when we're at uh, shows and uh, walking away from our cars having worked on them. So easily done otherwise that that flexibility in the way the stag was built is such that it uh, can cause 
a few problems but uh, nevertheless there we are um, I will just share with you one or two other top tips as well um, we picked it up from various trips out I think Bewley uh, last year in 2019 when we went out there um, many stag owners do have a rescue plan for if the Bowden cave and remember I showed you the put the lever underneath the um, near the glove box to open uh, the the bonnet or the hood itself can sometimes break so many stag owners actually do have a contingency which involves a bit of wire often or a second Bowden cable that comes out at a different place under the bonnet to the outside world such that if your main one breaks then you have a reserve chute and you can still pull the latch and open up the bonnet because if that goes that main one and you haven't got a contingency it's uh, quite a fiddle bearing in mind that lock uh, bonnet catch release system is actually on the bulkhead uh, at the uh, the back of the engine bay and trying to get a stick up through the engine bay to get to it can take some time although I do know that people have done it anyway um, I'll just share with you a few pictures on that as I'm, I'm talking and hopefully it'll give you a few ideas yourself we're going to do it on our car in due course before it's too late <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. We'll stick a little button at the end of the uh, video and uh, also another little video, bonus video, you can watch towards the end. Uh, but otherwise, have a great week wherever you are, and we'll see you online on Ari the Stag very soon. All the best, guys. Cheers for now.